Hey GearHeads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the all new 2024 Subaru Impreza RS. The top trim of this hatchback only version of the Subaru Impreza. This is a vehicle and a brand with a long history in rally racing. So does this new vehicle live up to that rally sport badge? Stay tuned. The short answer is yes, but that really doesn't encapsulate all that this vehicle is capable of. Let's get into it. I do want to say a huge thank you to Subaru for dropping this one off for us to test for a full week here. Not only are you getting this performance review, but later this week, Holly will be behind the wheel, Tucker will be in the back seat, and we'll tell you what this vehicle is like for our family. But just a quick review on the outside of what makes this thing so special as an RS and what is updated for the 2024 model year. We get a new face with a frameless grille, much more uh, athletic and muscular up front, LED lights all the way around. I really like uh, all trims of the Impreza get adaptive LED headlights uh, that turn with your steering wheel. So that is a very nice touch. And I like how we get LED turn signals back here as well. Lots of gloss black accents that contrast very well against this Oasis Blue Pearl paint. I love this paint job. Uh, it, it just really pops and we've had it during some inclement weather and I can tell you on a gray rainy day, this, th this car just glows. It really looks good. But we have the gloss black there in the grill. We've got some gloss black above the uh, fog lights right there. We get the dark finished wheels. We get the gloss black mirror caps with the RS badge right there, gloss black running down the length of the vehicle, and a gloss black rear spoiler just over the rear hatch. And as we come back here, a tidy rear end, another RS badge here on the back with no uh, showy exhausts or diffusers back here. It just is a really nice tidy uh, package that you could live with daily. First and foremost, we get Subaru's intelligent drive with sport mode and the bigger engine. So let's talk about that engine. This RS trim is the only trim that gets the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. All other models of the Impreza get the two liter. This 2.5 liter makes 182 horsepower and 178 pound feet of torque routed through Subaru's Lineartronic continuously variable transmission to all four wheels. So yes, we still get Subaru's legendary symmetrical all-wheel drive in this one. Even if we don't get the more powerful 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that you can get in the Outback or even the WRX. And so with that bigger engine, you do get to have a little bit more fun. Again, no, it's not the turbocharged 2.4 that we can find in the WRX, but this is a fun powertrain in this small, low light vehicle. So let's talk about this CVT. It is absolutely not the worst CVT. I've been in some vehicles where that is like the kiss of death, but in this one, it's not as bad as it would seem because we have uh, Subaru's intelligent drive. You do actually get paddles on the backs of the steering wheels for an eight speed simulated uh, sequential mode where you can row through the gears if you would want yourself. But I will say I've driven it mostly in S mode and through traffic, it kind of gives you an interesting sensation. So it definitely wants you to think that there's simulated gears in S mode in day in, day in and day out traffic because it kind of gives you a little kick uh, as it shifts through the gears. Uh, it defaults to intelligent drive, which really just gives you the right amount of power when you need it. Uh, this vehicle never really is hunting for power. It is a very well-tuned CVT. Like I said, definitely not the worst that I've sampled. 
the Subaru Impreza has been the basis for a lot of fun vehicles uh, in the Subaru lineup over the years, including that WRX, which is now spun off into its own vehicle altogether. It used to be a trim on the Impreza with WRX standing for World Rally Experimental, and now, well, it's its own thing, where yes, you can get a manual transmission, but oddly enough, the top trim, the GT, still gets a CVT. That one's interesting. The Impreza name has also spun off the Crosstrek platform, which is essentially a lifted version of this vehicle. Uh, for 2024, both models got updated. They have the same interiors, right? Essentially have the same exteriors, but that Crosstrek is up and lifted to fit more in the SUV side of the Subaru lineup, where Subaru still classifies this as a car, and it isn't quite enough to fit in their performance lineup alongside the BRZ and the WRX, because, well, you don't get the turbocharged engine. So you could say by spinning off the fun off-road version in the Crosstrek and the fun rally version in the WRX, that really leaves nothing for the normal Subaru. And so that brings us to this RS trim, which is new for the 2024 model year on the Impreza. And it kind of bridges the gap. It is a little bit more than what, say, Chevrolet does when they slap the RS badge on one of their vehicles. This is more than just an appearance package because it is the only version uh, that gets the 2.5 liter engine under the hood and it builds on the sports, sport tuned suspension. We also get the uh, dual pinion steering from the WRX. And I will say this steering, <laughs> it's very quick and lets you know exactly what's going on and a very impressive steering feel in this one. I'll, I'll give them a very big credit uh, for the steering dynamics of this vehicle. So we are still borrowing parts from the rally division, uh, but I do believe that is throughout uh, the Impreza lineup. Another great thing about uh, the 2024 Impreza is it is 10% stiffer than the model it replaces, which as you get out and if you're carving corners on roads or slinging up dirt on a back road or in a field, uh, you will really appreciate what Subaru engineers have done making this vehicle stiffer. I will note though, after living with this one for a week, we have noticed a few rattles. There's one hidden up here somewhere underneath the dashboard. And I do believe the uh, rear sunshade, cargo shade back in the back is causing a little bit of rattle and noise back in the back as well. But for a brand new vehicle that is touting being 10% stiffer, eh, it's a little unfortunate to have rattles and uh, just some of those gremlins creeping up uh, that really kind of have you questioning how taut and how well built this vehicle is. But getting it back here to some curvy back roads and having a little bit of fun, I can tell you this sport tuned suspension uh, is doing its job. It is a very fun vehicle to toss around corners. Okay, so let's talk wheels and tires on this one. The RS is the only model to get these dark finished alloy wheels that contrast oh so beautifully against our Oasis Blue Pearl paint job. They are an 18 inch wheel. They are wrapped in Yokohama Avid tires. They are 22540 R18 inch rubber wrapped around these dark finished wheels. It's a nice look, like I said, contrasting against this Oasis Blue Pearl. But when it comes to true rally racing, I'm just curious how these would perform off-road and in mixed use situations. There's definitely some tread and some grip to them, but let's see how these perform on the road. If you hearken to the James May principle of vehicles being the most fun at the limits, these Yokohama Avid tires are grippy, but they are not the best. So all the way around, for a fun little $31,000 vehicle that does have standard all-wheel drive, this vehicle is pretty fun uh, when you get down to it. Is it a WRX? No. Is it a rally car? 
Well, no, not really. Does it earn that RS badge? More so than something from Chevrolet would. I will 100% say that because, well, we do have all wheel drive and we do have more power under the hood. It isn't just an appearance package, although a lot of it is. Uh, this really is a fun package when wrapped all in uh, this new exterior styling. And yes, I'll say it again, I absolutely love this Oasis Blue Pearl paint job. <laughs> Road noise is a little pervasive in this vehicle. It is, again, a more economical vehicle, stickering at right at $31,000. We do have some foam back there where the spare tires could be, should be, uh, to help with a little bit of the road noise in this. But yeah, it, it's definitely there. This isn't the most quiet vehicle. Again, built for more sporty athletic driving, having a little bit of fun. It's kind of the trade-offs you take when you buy into something like a rally sport. So I will say I have kind of dogged on this engine in previous drives of this vehicle because I didn't really have time to get to know it and get to experience it fully. It is not my favorite. I really do like that 2.4 liter turbo four, but living with it for a full week, I, I can admit uh, that it is more fun than the numbers on paper would suggest. The brakes do a good job of biting, so it really does give you confidence to take speed into corners and to have some fun driving this a little more spiritedly than your traditional or maybe your base Subaru Impreza. Yes, this is definitely not your typical entry-level vehicle uh, into a model lineup. Subaru has definitely injected some of their rally fun into this vehicle, but would I really say that it is a rally sport? Uh, that, mm, that's, that, from a brand like Subaru, those words mean so much more than uh, other manufacturers who slap RS on a vehicle. And I, I just expect perhaps a little bit more fun, a little bit more um, engagement with the vehicle than what you get here uh, with your CVT only non-turbocharged powertrain. Don't get me wrong, it is really good, it is really fun, and I would highly recommend this because it is a completely livable car uh, day in and day out, and then when you wanna have a little bit of fun with it, you absolutely can. I just lament not having a six speed and a turbo under the hood. It's not a drag car. It's a rally sport car. It's meant to turn. <laughs> Is this the most fun you can get for $31,000 from Subaru? No. In fact, you can get a base WRX with that turbocharged four cylinder and a proper six speed manual for right around the same price as this. But where this one really lives up to uh, its price tag is in its daily livability and the luxuries that Subaru threw in. Sure, we only have cloth seats here, but on a cool East Texas fall morning, I will say I really like the heated seats on a cloth seat. It is a nice cozy feeling in the morning uh, that keeps you nice and warm. Uh, you also get LED lights all the way around with those adaptive headlights that I really like. And we do have the steering from the WRX, so it's not a total loss. And with its hatchback only design, you get the practicality of an SUV with the driving character of a car. So all around, not too bad. 
That is it for me exploring the performance capabilities of this vehicle. If you want to see what this is like in a true family life, what we appreciate about it for our family of three, absolutely hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified when our family review of this vehicle drops later this week. Where Holly is behind the wheel, we install Tucker's child safety seat in the back and talk about what this is really like living with it day in and day out. We have put over 300 miles on this and we are getting right at 26 mpg. It's definitely an impressive vehicle all the way around, even if Subaru made some compromises uh, when it came to the whole rally sport thing. You can also find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Everything is at GT Garage Talk or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, in the 2024 Subaru Impreza RS, until next time, gearheads, bye.